I was provided with a product sample to test. This will not affect my opinion about the product. Watch the entire video till the end to see my product rating. Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Vivor brand, their 180 watts electric deli meat slicer with removable 7.5 inch diameter stainless steel blade. It has a pattern on there so that it can work on various things, not only meat but cheese, even bread and vegetables. It has a nice blade guard on there so that's totally safe until you're ready to slice. And it will cut from uh, 0 to 0.6 of an inch thick sections and with an adjustable thickness. Now this is ETL rated which is excellent for a kitchen appliance. I'm going to show you that on the back and gets excellent customer ratings. So you can see it's kind of slides just like what you see and when you go to the supermarket it comes with this nice piece right here that allows you to push whatever you're slicing into it and then move it along into the blade. Now what happens is uh, the blade you end up using this much of the blade which is approximately four and a half five inches so you're whatever you put in there you should be five inches or less is what I would guess. It has a sliding bushing right there and the bottom of it has this excellent uh, non-stick suction cups on here. Non-stick suction cups which really holds this in place. Keep these clean and I want to show you that ETL rating right there with that serial number that says that this is an appliance that's been tested for use in your kitchen perfectly. So let's take a look right here at the at back of it so you can see where the adjustment knob is. You see the way it's designed? This is the motor and it has a gearbox. This blade does not spin fast, we're going to show you. Now here is your depth gauge right here and you can see it has a little indicator and as I turn that this moves back and what that does is it causes this to increase the size as you can see right there. That's how you can control the thickness. Comes in a nice little cleaning brush if you want to try and clean some of the meat or cheese off the blade. But it's also really easy to remove the blade. I'm going to show you how to do that. On the right side of the product is the power cord. And it has about a five foot long cord with a plug. Very simple. And uh, the actual power switch is located on the left hand side right there let's turn it on so as you can see the blade goes slow and it's noisy because it's got metal and a gearbox but it has a lot of torque to it and that's how you're going to be able to cut cheese and meat. When you stop it, it slowly comes to a complete stop. Really nice, simple operation. Let's put the uh, plastic piece on again to show you. And we're going to be demonstrating this. We're going to be uh, slicing some beef with this to make uh, deli sandwiches, which is great. And this also had a nicely written instruction book, which really did show you how to use it. And do's and don'ts on there, really basic. Now this is real interesting. All you do is take this like this, drop this back, and you turn this to the right and the whole blade comes off for cleaning. And there's the gearbox on there. I already cleaned it. So that's the gear drive. There's some lubricant on there which is normal. And when you want to put this back on, you line it up and you turn it counterclockwise and it goes right back on, ready for you to use again. Make sure that everything is thoroughly dry before you re-slice something. When this is running for about 10, 15 minutes, it's gonna get a little warm. Let it uh, take a break and let it cool off and then continue it. Uh, if it shuts down, it just means it got too warm. Wait about 15 minutes and it'll come back on. That's all part of that ETL rating. It does that to protect the motor and drive mechanism on there. I want to do a close-up of the blade so you can see it is got little scallops in there it's serrated and that allows it to work with a variety of different cuts whether it's meat or cheese or vegetables or even bread this will work and I forgot to mention this blade is 
stainless steel. It's an SUS 420 stainless steel. And it has a pattern on there, very, very sharp, to allow you to cut through things. I want to demonstrate there's two bushings on here. There's this slider bushing that goes along the stainless steel piece and then there's this roller wheel right there and that's what allows this to effortlessly slide and be in control while you're slicing whatever you're slicing. So I want to demonstrate. I had this running for about five minutes and I have a, a thermal gun so you could see the heat that's being dissipated right here and that's great. That means that they've got it set up to dissipate heat no heat on the blade really so that is normal for that to warm up that's how it dissipates the heat from the motor and the gearbox Here I'm going to try and see if I can slice some thin slices. So after testing, what do I think about the Vivor brand, 180 watts electric deli meat slicer. Really nice product as I demonstrated. I love the simplicity of it. This doesn't take up a lot of space in your kitchen or in your cabinets. That's what they did. They made this nice and small so it's functional and yet you could store it quite easily. So I'm impressed at how this sliced. I love the simplicity of it, the ease of cleaning the blade, and the ETL rating on there is all important to me. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.